Assemble the battery cells according to the wiring diagram. For the detailed assembling process, please check our last video. Check the video link in the description. Two battery modules get ready for later installation. BMS supports Canon RS485 interfaces. Get the BMS in the place and fix it onto the outer box. Fix the side bracket onto the outer box. Put the battery modules into the box carefully. Connect to the two modules in series with the wire. Then, connect the BMS negative wire to the battery pack main cathode. And get the wire harness connected with BMS. Tighten the bottom screws respectively. Get the BMS positive and negative wire connected to the charging posts. Connect the BMS positive wire to the battery pack main anode. Get the top plastic cover assembled. Connect the display with BMS. Lay the upper cover down and tighten with screws. Press the reset button to power on the battery pack. The LCD screen lightens correspondingly. Press the confirm button to check the battery pack total voltage, current flow, SOC status, and warning status. Press down button to check the individual cell voltage. Temperature of cell from four different positions. Environment temperature and PCB component temperature. Warning status. Capacity status. Full capacity, remaining capacity and cycle times. Install the mounting rack rail on battery pack. Choose an empty wall with enough space for the battery. Place a spirit level on the bracket to keep it horizontal. Mark the screw hole positions with a marker pen. Place the tip of your bit in the marked position and drill into the wall, make sure to keep the bit straight. Insert wall bolts into the four screw holes. Place the mounting bracket in the place and fix with screws.
hang up the battery pack on the wall. And hang up the grow out inverter as well. Connect the inverter with battery charging posts. Connect with loads. The off-grid air conditioner is running.